Hello and welcome to episode 14 of my 10 minute champion series. On today's episode we have the UEFA Champions League first knockout round, second leg tie at home against Bayern Munich. In the last episode we faced Bayern Munich in the first leg and we beat them 2-0 away from home. So hopefully in this episode we'll knock Bayern Munich out of the Champions League. We have a look at how we've played since that last episode then. After the Bayern Munich game, we beat Leeds in the Carabao Cup final. We won the Carabao Cup. We had to do it on penalties, though. We didn't play well at all in that game. After that, then, we beat Crystal Palace 4-0 in the FA Cup fifth round. And since then, we've drawn Barnsley in the FA Cup quarter final. After that game, we beat Newcastle 8-0 in the Premier League. Harry Maguire scoring twice and Erling Haaland scoring three times. After that game, we beat Arsenal 2-0 away from home in the Premier League. If we see what that means for us in the Premier League then, we are top of the Premier League by five points with two games in hand on Manchester City. We have played 28, won 23, drawn three, lost two, scored 99, conceded 17 with a goal difference of 82. We'll look at how our players have been doing then. Erling Haaland still leads our scorers with 33 goals for the season. With Bruno Fernandes second with 21, Mason Greenwood has 20, Marcus Rashford on 18, Anthony Martial on 12. Assist, Bruno Fernandes has taken over Alex Tellez for the assists. Bruno Fernandes is now on 18 assists, Alex Tellez on 16, Flora Talvin on 12, Nuno Mendes 10, Marcus Rashford 10. Alex Tellez all on his own for player of the matches, he has 10, the next closest is Bruno Fernandes on 5. We look at our team for today's game then. David De Gea is in goal, Alex Tellers of Meccano, Alaba and Kimmich are at the back, Luis, Fernandez and Bentecourt in midfield, Rashford on the left, Greenwood on the right, Haaland up front. Today's bench is Henderson, Wambasaka, Maguire, Tonali, Pogba, Martial and Cristiano Ronaldo. That is the team for today's game. Hopefully it's enough to knock Bayern Munich out of the Champions League like they did to us last season. I'll see you in the match. Here we are then in the match against Bayern Munich at home. Let's see if we can progress to the next round of the Champions League. I'm going to pump fists and this is a great opportunity to have all the pundits that have been right to back you up. I'm also going to, like I did last episode, just go down to positive. Don't want to be too open at the back for them because they are, they are a strong team. I expect them to do well today. Go a highlight for Bayern Munich straight away then. Bruno Fernandes trying to close down Vlasic. He clears it to Haaland. Haaland's in. Can he score? Haaland scores. Yes. Great. 3-0 three, three on aggregate to us then. Bayern Munich need three goals to go through. Perfect start for us. Good assist by Florentino Lewis then. So even, even though he's not a deep line playmaker, even though he's a defensive midfielder now he still does look for the ball but he also importantly maintains that space the position so just in front of the back four Haaland to Greenwood Greenwood gets the header and scores our second of the match 4-0 on aggregate now Bayern Munich need to score four it's probably impossible now for Bayern Munich we are playing it very well but they do have a throw in Pavard then to Muller Gundogan from City, they've purchased him from City. Most of their team is pretty much the same, apart from having not having Kimmich, as we bought him in the January transfer window. Vlasic, don't know, not recognize, don't recognize him. Pavard shoots, but De Gea saves. Not sure what to do about De Gea. He's 31, and he's three stars there is some good keepers out that i could purchase they'll probably be expensive david hair also oh good david hair collects that sane is very quick david hair is on three hundred fifty thousand pound a week for us as well so it's not as if we can't pay another goalkeeper to come in and do as good a job as dad david de hair so i'll have to have a look at that in the january not january the summer transfer window uh, depending on whether we win the champions league of course David Teher collects, kicks up field, Haaland nods down to Greenwood, Greenwood shoots and saved by Neuer, just want to make sure there's key highlights, yeah. just getting a lot of highlights, I do like to fill about with it when I'm not recording, just to see how we play when I'm not doing key highlights, so just wondering if I had just left it, Alex Teller's trying to get the cross in, but he, 
the Bayern player isn't letting him. 30 minutes and we're still 2-0 up. Lots of highlights there in this game. Seems to be an open game either side. Gundogan, oh, De Gea saves. Plays it to Rashford. Pavard intercepts though. Nabri, come on. Up Meccano, pass it back. Good inception. You're wondering why Ramos hasn't been in the team. Well, a while ago, I didn't play him for about two games and he got annoyed that he wasn't playing enough, even though I started him pretty much every other game apart from two. And I found that every time we actually play him now, I've tried to play him. Up Meccano was another one who was upset he wasn't playing enough. I played up, up Meccano for a while and he was then happy again. Greenwood puts us three up. Um, but Ramos, however much I've played him, it doesn't seem happy at all. He, he seems to want to play every single game. And now he's got so, his um, morale is so low that he's actually affecting our game. So he hasn't played for us in a while. And since we've removed him from the team, Haaland scores our fourth. It's a rout today. As soon as I removed Sergio Ramos from the team, our defence has been playing a lot better. Having Alaba, Upmakano and Maguire at the back and not having Ramos in the team, we seem to be conceding far less goals and much more solid at the back. Kimmich then, no, Bentecourt, can he get it back in to Kimmich, he crosses, we can just destroy by and here we are already destroying them, they need six goals to go through, and they need to match us for the aggregates, they need to be a 6-4, but they're not playing that well so far, almost at half time now, Canabry on the right, can you get the cross in, you can, and Sane puts, gets them one back, Missed interception from, from up Meccano and De Gea there. Not good. But we're still winning 4-1. They are a good team. Um, I don't want to say um, I'm pleased. I'm just going to do been right to back you up. I don't want to go too happy because we haven't won it yet. And I don't want to get complacent because they've been playing well. So right to back them up. Just give them a bit more motivation just to keep going. Also, something I didn't mention, uh, I sort of touched on, Up Meccano scores from the corner, 5-1 to us, and Bayern Munich needs six again. Um, yeah, something I didn't point on, I said about the Mazzala and defence midfielder, I forgot to mention that we've now got a ball box-to-box -box midfielder, sorry, rather than a, a advanced playmaker. Again, I wanted someone to... The advanced playing mecca sort of works around the advanced areas of the pitch. Wanted a box to box midfielder again to win that uh, midfield battle. So he gets up and down. He passes and creates assists more, not more, but as much as he did before, as much as it was an advanced playmaker, and he gets back and defends well. So another good change. I'm happy that that uh, change is working. Florentino then of Meccano. Playing it lovely around the back. I found that now we've changed those uh, positions as well. Now we've got more support in midfield. We're keeping the ball a lot better. There's a lot more options for our defenders to pass to into the midfield. 70 minutes. I haven't made any subs yet. I'm going to make two subs. You can come off. I'm going to have to do that now. And... I'm sure Kimmich is playing well. Don't want to change the defence. Marcus Rashford isn't playing. I'm going to bring Anthony Martial on. Anthony Martial has been out for about two months now. He had a hip injury in training. He was out on the 22nd of December 2021. So he's been out for two months. That's another reason why I bought Cristiano Ronaldo in because we did lose him. We need another sort of cover striker, cover left winger. So that's another reason why I brought Cristiano Ronaldo into the squad. So it's the f his first senior game in two months for Martial. That's why he's only scored 12 goals in this season as well. So let's hope he does all right. Welcoming back to the team. Coman's come on for Bayern. Davis down the left, cross it. Muller's at the back post and Muller scores. Great header for Muller. Shame. I'm going to demand more from him. Shouldn't be. Should be. It should be easy for us, really. Um, Greenwood for Ronaldo. Let's do it. 
One minute left of extra time. We're definitely going through. Coman's taking it off us. Even if they score here, they still need another five. Hope they don't score because we've been playing well. They are a good team, though. Need to remember that. To Muller, Lewandowski, Zinchenko. Plays it out to the right to Pavard. It gets the cross in and it's cleared. Come on, lads. Davies on the left crosses to no one. If Makano clears. Come on, ref. Let's blow the. Let's go very defensive for the last minute, 10 seconds. Haaland is taking it past two. He can score again. He has done. Just as I've put it to very defensive. Haaland scores his. So that's third of the game. Haaland, Haaland, Haaland. Third of the game for Haaland. 9.9. .9. And we've done it. 6 2 in the game, 8 2 over the two legs. Let's get into a dressing room, outstretch arm, nice job. So we're at the draw for the quarter final and semi final for the Champions League. Let's see who we get. Who we don't want is Liverpool. We keep losing to Liverpool. Liverpool have made it through. So the teams are Ajax, Dortmund, Porto, Juventus, Liverpool, us, PSG, and Real Madrid. Uh, Real Madrid, not Real Madrid, PSG are being very, a very defensive, good defensive team. I'd like Ajax or Borussia Dortmund. Let's go for it then. Us, straight out of the bat, against Ajax, Juventus, not bad. And that's not a bad draw for us at home for the first stage. PSG have Real Madrid, that's very good. Porto, Ajax, not too bad. Actually, it's good because one of them goes through. Liverpool and Dortmund. One of those goes out. Very good draw. Very happy with that. Now, the Champions League semi-final. Let's get the draw. So, we want Porto or Ajax. PSG or Real Madrid versus Liverpool and Dortmund, which means we've got Porto or Ajax. Man United or Juventus at home against Porto or Ajax. So, we just need to get through the next round and we'll face either Porto or Ajax, who I'd say are the weakest in the competition left. So that's a fantastic draw. Couldn't have asked it to go any better. If you enjoyed that episode, feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next episode.